this is my review of the Batman. The beginning of the Batman opens up with Riddler writing no more lies. Later in the movie we find out this means Riddler is upset with Gotham City and he's mad that supervillains are running Gotham City. Later in the movie Riddler writes a pretty interesting riddle. Batman is now trying to solve Riddler's El Rata Riddle. And the answer is rat with wings. He thinks this would be penguin. That makes sense. However, it happens to be something else. The penguin tells James Gordon and Batman that the actual pronunciation of the word is La Rata Lata and not El Rata Lata. This is because Riddler got his Spanish wrong here. We find out this is not Penguin who is the rat. It happens to be someone else. But first, what happens is Alfred goes to the hospital because Riddler had a new riddle and accidentally Alfred opened this package which was intended for Bruce. That's how he has gone to the hospital. Here we learn the could say dark truth about Batman or Bruce Wayne's family. What we learn is that Bruce Wayne's father needed to get this one person from stopping him to run and then Falcone took him out. However, we learn that Bruce Wayne's family father would not bad, they just made the wrong decision, and they called the wrong guy to do it, which was Falcone. And speaking of Falcone, this is why Falcone happens to be. This is where it's revealed that Falcone happens to be La Rada Rada. Then Catwoman tries to defeat Falcone. Catwoman is now trying to take down Falcon. Batman has to try to stop Falcon. Falcon gets arrested and then something crazy happens. Falcon is no longer charged because the Riddler has now defeated Falcone. Riddler is hiding in a bar and he hopes he gets found though. The reason he wants to get arrested here is because he wants to get interrogated by Batman. And here we learn that Riddler's full plan for Gotham City is now revealed, and he wanted Batman to help him capture Bruce Wayne. I believe in this universe, this Riddler does not know who Bruce Wayne is. It is possible he's maybe tricking Batman though, and he does secretly know Batman is Bruce Wayne, but based off of the things he says, I don't think that's the case. What I do know is the case is... Riddler has a plan to destroy all of Gotham City. Batman must stop him. Batman has now saved the day from Riddler and his henchmen. However, there is one more villain we need to talk about who could be in Batman 2. And that villain happens to be the Joker. I think without a doubt, the Joker will be the main villain of the Batman 2 
just as it was in Major Dillard in the Batman Dark Knight, which was Christian Bale's second Batman. I think it'd be pretty cool to see Joker as a villain in the Batman too. Now let's talk about the main characters of the Batman. The first main character is Batman. The second main character is Riddler. The third main character is Catwoman. The fourth main character is James Gordon. The fifth main character is Alfred Penguin. The sixth main character is Falcon. The final main character of the Batman is Penguin. Now let's talk about my final opinion on the Batman. I'm going to have to give the Batman Ultimate Legendary for two reasons. I have to describe the Batman as Gotham City. It feels like this is a dark and gritty type Batman movie. I absolutely love that. It's also reminded me of Christian Bale's The Dark Knight Batman series. I thought this movie was pretty good. I have to give this 98%. Feel free to let me know your opinions down below in the comments on the Batman. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I subscribe. Like the video. Sludge it. Peace!